for your own soul's sake. See, that's why the Bible is redundant. The Lord says things over and over because we're stiff-necked, hard-headed people. See, there are accepted people to the Lord that God. Why? Because we keep the law, that said the Lord. That's the law. We come together our people. Bring it up. We come together the Lord's sheep in the house of Israel. Calm down and listen to one another. And more importantly, listen to this fight. Sis, sis, you look like you need a break from walking. You look like you should stop and listen. Do you believe the Bible? You believe the Bible, sis? What happens to the black people that believe the Bible? Damn. Bring it up. Come on now, sis. Bible says we didn't even, we don't we don't consider who we are. Sis. Sis right there. Hermana. Hermana. You habla inglés? Ven aquí. Él habla español. What's your, hey, what's your question? question. Actually, when, I was able, when I was over there, I was there to say, um, all the Jews are black, but that's not the question, right? Because what is a Jew? A Yahuda, Yahudin. Jew. The Jews are the 12 tribes of Israel, all right? These are the Israelites. Okay. Those terms are interchangeable. When, when, I said, when, when, the Hebrew, the Hebrew, right? Mm -hmm. So Abraham falls through the Hebrew, right? I'm saying, after all that time, Jew is just short for Judah, all right? That's all. Jew, Judah is the head tribe, all right? So when you look at us as a whole, we refer to ourselves as the Jews. That's all. If you believe from the book of Genesis 29 and 35, right, going to the book of Acts, right, all nations people came together, they were speaking all these different tongues, right? They said all these people gathered around these Jews, right? See, what do they mean by that? Well, the question is, because... I want to I wanna ask you, do you know who you are according to the Bible? Yeah, I'm a lion. Who are you? I'm a lion. I'm, 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 I'm a European. I'm a, a son of a car. I build metal. I make steel. I build so, weapons. So, let me show you, you know, something real quick. My ancestors, my ancestors were warriors, man. They were warriors. They were sent to uh, punish people that didn't do right. Oh, no, they were warriors, so, all right. Yeah, you know who you are. So, look, look. according to, according to no, the I'm Bible. Trying, I'm trying to get back to this Jewish thing. Yeah, but I don't know what you're what you're getting at. We're trying to teach commandments out here, brother. Come here real quick. You believe in the Bible? Because we answered it, it's, it's it's becoming distracting. That's why I said, do you know who you are? Because the question is not to be having a forty minute conversation about the word Jew. We just told you Jew comes from Judah. All I see is sin out here. I'm trying to clean up. That's right. But do you, can you respect that? Look, just look around. All right, we're trying to heal the community. That's and, right. and when you look at the sins in this community, knowing right. Jew right. is not going to help you. Ask me how we can stop the murders. How can the Bible hey. prevent the murders Bring going on out here? My brother, you believe the Bible? That's a question, man. What about you? You believe the Bible? Yeah, do you believe in the Bible? The King James Version. What you mean? No, no, no. Can we show you how it was put together? Man, there ain't no, there ain't no time like the present. You never know what can happen tomorrow. People worship many gods back then, man. Okay, but okay. So what's the limit of hands where you would trust it? Because it was all written by prophets. Hold on, hold on. Please be quiet. Say that again. Right. Yeah, we can show you. Read that form. Read that form. Read that. Read uh, first, first Peter uh, 121. Before you go. Let me let me just read this for you. Say it again. Oh, it, it do. 
It do. And what, that, what is happening again is we back in Babylon again. We back in Sodom and Gomorrah. You see the LGBT on the back of every bus? Right. Say it again. Okay, right now we're... Right. This brother's trying to out yell you. I'm sorry. Say it again. <laughs> you said we don't have prophets. What you think we are? We are the prophets. Yes. Let me let me read it to you real quick. Let me read it to you. Second Peter. Let me just cut the You said a lot of topics. Let me read this scripture for you. Then we'll get to the next one. Second Peter, chapter one and verse twenty. Knowing this first, so as a black man, because you're a prophet as well, whether you believe it today or not, it say you must know this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. Because the church has different interpretations, different, uh, de what is denominations got different, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Different, different denominations have different interpretations, but it says there's no private interpretation. There's only one correct understanding to this book because all the men that, that wrote it were in the same mindset. Read. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of men. Because that's what the world believes today, that a bunch of random people just was writing crazy stuff coming up with this in their imagination. But it says it was not of the will of man. Read. But holy men of God. But who? Holy men of God, they were all on the same mindset of God, read, yes, spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. So it was literally the Holy Ghost moving through these men to write what the Most High, to write what the Most High wanted written down. That's right. You understand? Now the question is, I know you got, your faith is wavering on the Bible and that's where we could talk to you to prove to you that you should have 100% faith in this book. And we also got the scholars admit, uh, 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 Doc, where's Zondervan? We got a Zondervan? Well, I'll just tell you, I don't know if we got it on us, but the Bible was translated by Hebrew and Greek scholars, all right? And there was rules and checkpoints they had to pass. They didn't just sit down either. These were men that went to Oxford and Cambridge, all right? So what I'm trying to, I'm here to build your faith up in this word because this is your true power. Okay, okay. Well, hey, you learned more than you probably ever learned in the church in about five minutes. All praises. What you got? No, that's cool. That's cool. My brother. My brother in the white shirt. You believe the Bible? What you believe? You, so you, are you a Christian? Are you, you trying to find it? Well, talk to me. Okay, well, why you ain't trying to find it? Say, say it one more time. You don't have to. Well, how are you going to get to see his kingdom of heaven if you're not seeking him? That's my question. I'm, I'm, how are you going to get the kingdom of God if you're not seeking him through his word? He's Muslim. No, that's not, that's not, our, that's not our religion. As black men, that is not our religion. That's right. Say it again. No, 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 no. This is not a hate speech. This is the facts. Okay, black man, where did our people learn about Islam? Bring it out. We got the pictures right here to show you dirt through in the uh, sub-Saharan slave trade. They forced that on us. Just like Christianity. Yeah, just like Christianity. No, no difference. Islam is for Ishmael. We are Isaac, brother. We Isaac. Get that. Get that. Yeah, we don't want no knowledge. Hosea 4 and 6. Because we're willing to dialogue with our people. We'll show them that they're wrong <laughs> according to the Bible. That's right. All right, that's it. It's nothing to get mad at because we say Islam is garbage. Don't do that, bro. It's nothing to get mad at. We'll prove it. Oh, really? My man, what's your name? What's your name? Yeah. Say it again. Luis? Okay, you speak English, right? Everybody a little bit? So you heard what I said about how Islam is not the truth? No? All right, read that. Did you hear what we said? Because the brother got offended because we said Islam is, is, goes against the word of God. Right. You ever heard anybody tell you that? Watch this. Romans chapter 9. Leviticus 26, 26 and 1. 
Brother, do you know that in Islam they go, they go every year and do a hajj and walk around a big stone and bow down and kiss it? Where, what, what is righteous about that? So you telling me if I go to Mecca and I kiss a big stone, I'm going to see the kingdom of heaven. I show, if I show respect to a big square block, a big square rock, I'm going to get the kingdom of heaven? Madness. Madness. Listen to this. I'm going to show you that the Bible condemns the yearly hodge. Read. Leviticus 26 and verse 1. Ye shall not make you no idols, nor graven image, ne neither rear you up a standing image. Whoa, it said no graven image, neither rear you up a standing image. All right, let's continue. Neither shall ye set up any image of stone. It says neither shall you set up a what? Any image of what? Any image of stone. The Bible condemns the Kaaba stone in one verse. One verse. If I was a Muslim, that's all I would need to see. I'm done with Islam, I'm done. Because they tell me it's righteous to rear up a standing image, to, st to set up a stone. Islam goes against the Bible. It goes directly against the Bible. Why do why you think we can say it boldly? Because we know who we serve. Go to Isaiah 34, 16. Let's see about the Quran. Well, maybe the Quran got some truth to it. Oh, uh, nope, Isaiah 34, 16. The Quran got some truth to it, huh? That's what they say. A black man thinks in order to get disciplined, he has to follow Islam. I've never heard a greater lie in my life. Islam and Christianity are both curses on the black race. Islam and Christianity were sent by our oppressors to us to keep us away from the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Read that. Isaiah 34, 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord. Where do you find yourself? Out of the book of the Lord. Read that again. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord. Sorry, the Quran is not the book of the Lord. Everybody knows that. The Bible is the book of the Lord. Read. And read. And do what? Read. read. No one of these shall fail. Because the Bible is full of prophecies. The Quran is not. I'm going to say it again. The Bible is full of prophecies. The Quran is not. The Quran is just like the pastor's speech on, on Sunday church. It's a feel-good book. A book you read to keep you calm. The Quran is not going to tell you the beginning and the end like the Bible is. That's right. Read. None shall want her mate. None shall, none will ever be able to mate with the Bible. The Quran will never be able to mate with the Bible. The book of Enoch will never be able to mate with the Bible. Right. All right. Whatever other more book of Mormon, it will never be able to mate with the Bible. Right. Sis, you walking away from the one thing that's going to save you out in this wicked world. That's right. And we say we good when we pass up the words of the Bible. If that's not just more madness. If you're walking away from the words of God, you're not good. You're not good. Sis, do you agree? Do you realize that you can only believe in God if you keep the commandments? Did you know that? So how are you how are you been how you been doing with keeping the commandments? You try to keep him every day? Are you being honest with your brother? Okay, you die daily, every day. Can I read a scripture for you before you leave? A, a part of the commandments is, is say, she said she'll be back. Well, I want to get this scripture anyway. Any other sisters out here? All right, so sisters, because you my sister too. But I know you're going through some things because anybody that walks away from the Bible, I know they done lost hope. They lost hope because nobody wants to walk away from the Bible. I know you're mad if you walk away from the Bible, but that's okay. The Bible says it's for the, for the, to heal the brokenhearted. But read this. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. So a big part of the stress that sisters deal with is attracting the wrong men. The type of men who just want to lay down and keep it moving. So that's why the Bible also has 
laws on how to dress so that you don't attract the wrong type of brother. Because that's what brothers do. We look at your butt and say, okay, that's what I want. So let's see what the Bible says about how our black princesses should be dressing. Deuteronomy 22 verse 5 says this for you. And brothers with daughters, teach this to your, to your daughters too. Read. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. The woman shall not wear that which belongs to a man. Right. What's that talking about? Read that again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. That's talking about pants. Right in time, right before you got on that bus. All praises. Sisters are not to wear pants. You've never seen a princess in pants. Right. I've been watching Disney all my life. I've never seen a princess in pants. Brother, have you? You ever seen royalty in pants? I'm asking you. Uh. So, you must believe the Bible then, because you agree with the Bible. Do you? Do you believe in the Bible? A little bit is either yes or no. Can, can, can I talk to you for a couple minutes on that? Okay, I'm going to catch you on the way out. Brother. Brother. What we got over here? Shalomai, what's his name? James. I got a question for you, James. You know that there's a book in the Bible named after you? Okay, so there you go. So I'm going to call you King James for the rest of our convo because you're going to talk to me for a couple minutes. That's what everybody says. And whenever we read the Bible, everybody got to go. I don't believe you, brother. I don't believe a brother named James ran into the Israelites and he got to go. No, you got to stay. Right. We're going to read some scriptures for you. Leviticus 21 and 5. James, before you walk in, I notice all my brothers like to shave off their beard. But guess what? Christ didn't shave off his beard. James didn't shave off his beard. King James didn't shave off his beard. Read. Leviticus 21 verse 5. Uh -huh. They shall not make baldness up. Excuse me. Bastard. They shall not make baldness upon their head. Uh -huh. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. So James, it's a sin to shave off the corner of your beard. You gotta stop that. Now, sis, sis. No, we're talking about your face. Sis. Sis. Sis, so you got you got two minutes? Read that Deuteronomy 22 and 5. She missed it. So sis, you, I'm reading this for you because you said you, you're doing your best to keep the commandments. All right, so I want to see how this resonates with your spirit. All right, you ready? All praise. Deuteronomy 22 verse 5. The woman... Now hold on, before I start, sis, us black people, we from the 12 tribes of Israel. Okay, I know you never learned this in church, neither did I. But the Bible says we're God's chosen people. That's right. The Bible says we're the real Jews that he chose above everybody. All right, that's why he gave us laws. So we're going to read this law again for you. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So, sis, because I, I know that you're an Israelite, you're a princess, according to the Bible, our sisters are not to wear pants because pants are what pertain to a man. Just like dress pertains to a woman, right? If I came out here in a dress, you'd be looking at me crazy, right? So just like I look, you, you, you see me as a king, I see you as a princess. So that's why we read that for our sisters. Because why? Because our sisters believe that they will still see the kingdom in those pants. But why do sisters wear pants? Because they want to show off their shape. But guess what the Lord says? He says modesty. Go to 1 Timothy 2 and, 2 and 9. The Lord says the children of the daughters of Israel are to dress modestly. What does modesty mean? Now, he can't help you, sis. What does modesty mean? What's modesty? He, you listen? And he talking, he's perfect. 
So we just letting sis know, no matter what he says anybody, God says you cannot wear pants. Read. First Timothy 2 verse 9. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Read that again. Thank you, brother. That was very kind. Thank you. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. So, since who keeps the commandments? The Bible says that you are supposed to dress in modest apparel. Sis, did you also know that Jesus is just as black and beautiful as you? But, hey, sir, did you know that? Did you know Jesus is black according to Revelation 114? James, there we go, James. Right there. Right there. Come on, hey, come on. 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 A lot of people get offended at these commandments, but the Bible tells you, I don't want your blood on my hands. Once I learned this, I said, oh shoot, I got a responsibility now, because someone did it for me. Now the righteous, my sis over there says she want to keep the commandments, but well, we read the commandments, she been ignoring us. Hey, go to Amos 8 and 5, I'm gonna tell you. No, all of, that covers everything. Because let me ask you this. It say love your neighbor, right? Go to Matthew 22. Go to Matthew 22, uh, 35. All I, since all I said was not to wear pants, we are here to build you up. Matthew 22 and 35. Now, brother, we're going to read that scripture you just quoted. We used to it. People be mad at us all the time. We just read the laws. It's okay. I still love it. Read uh, 22. Matthew 22, verse 35. Huh? Then one of them, which was a lawyer, asked him a question tempting him and saying, Master, what is the great commandment in the law? Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. So that's all you got to do. Just love God and love neighbor and then go home. Nope, read. On these two commandments hang all the law. So you have to keep. There you go. That's why we have to keep the law. Because you can't be breaking the law and then still say you love God. You understand? What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 